In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to select a font using the font preview window. Step one, click on extras, scroll down to font preview and click on this. The font preview window will open. In this little window at the bottom, you can type text, your own text, that you want to preview in this window or you can use the text that's already selected. I'm going to type a name in here. Um, this is purely optional. You don't have to type anything here. You can just use this text that's already in the window. If I click set, it will change. I am then going to increase the size so that you can see what's happening. Step two, selecting the font that you want. So if we click on the first one in the list, it is selected for us. We can then use the keyboard arrow keys to scroll down through the list. And as we scroll down through the list, the text in the preview window changes. Now, when we find a text that we want, if you're going to use more than one font in a document, you might be using three, perhaps four different types of font. Well, then the easiest way is to make a note of the fonts that you want to use as you scroll down through. And then when you're setting out your document, you can just choose from the list rather than opening this preview window and scrolling all the way through again finding the fonts that you need to use okay now that you've found a font that you want to use step three is to place the font into your document so we close this window now i've already written paul white in this text box now you have two ways to change this font one is with the story editor you open the story editor and you can find your font in this list that you've just chosen from the preview window i'm going to close the story editor another way that you can change this font is by using the style menu and you then also have a choice so I'm going to change it to this font. While the style, while the, the box is selected, I'm going to change the size. And also in the style menu, I'm going to change the color. Now, when you use the style menu to change anything from inside a text box everything else that you type into this text box will have the same settings so if we go up and we click on this to open the story editor and we type in a new name and i click the update button john smith now appears in the text box and it's the same formatting has been applied all throughout this text box the same formatting will be applied because you used the style menu so whatever style you've chosen will be placed inside this text box if by chance you wanted to change John Smith to a different font or a different color you would need to use the story editor, which is this button. So we open the story editor again. If you select the text that you want to change, if we just want to change the color, you can click on the color and then click the update button and the color changes. And again, if you wanted to change the font, you could change the font by clicking on a different font and clicking the update button so those are two different ways that you can 
use the fonts once you've decided on what type of font that you want to use. Um, that's about it for this tutorial. 